Are right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, you can do it, you can do it, you got this. G'day riders, this is Mr. Kiwi Rider. And Mrs. Kiwi Rider. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about showy helmets. I'm really excited to be unboxing my new showy helmet. Mrs. Kiwi Rider has had hers for a few days uh, over this last weekend and has had a chance to, uh, to try it out on the road. And I think she's got some good things to say about it. I'll tell you a little bit about how we came to buy these helmets. We had a little bit of, uh, bit of pocket money and uh, we were both using it for different things. And I thought to myself, I'm, I'm not gonna have a chance to, to get uh, a helmet for a little while unless I do it now. So I took my pocket money down to uh, McIver and Veach, that's our local Harley Davidson store. Uh, they're good blokes and blokesses down there. I said, hey, need to get a good helmet. And of course, they recommended Showy. Now, they probably didn't need to recommend it because we've heard so much about these helmets um, from their, their fiberglass build to, uh, to all the uh, quality fastenings, the, the soundproofing, all of that good stuff. So um, we probably had our, you know, our sight set on Showy anyway. So I go in, settle on a particular Showy helmet and then we go to leave. And we're walking out the door, didn't even quite get there, and I say to Mr. Kiwi Rider, I think I'm gonna have to get one of those helmets, because I could see how cool it was and mm. how good it was. You were gonna regret it, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we went and put our stuff in the car and came back in and said, yeah, we'll just get another one of those helmets, thanks. Mm. Of course, by this time, I've picked out my helmet. It's a matte black one, okay? And then we go to leave again. Um, and I realized Mrs. Kiwi Riders ordered this blue one, all right? And I'm thinking, they come in colors. I, I need to get a color. The shop's closed by now, so first thing in the morning, I ring them up. Hey, I want to exchange my helmet for uh, a colored one, please. Can I get a red one? And they're like, well, the color available in red is a wine red, and it's a gloss helmet. I'm like, that's perfect. It'll go with my bike. Mrs. Kiwi Rider got her helmet on Friday. Mine didn't show up until today, Monday. So mine is fresh and new in the box. They had to order my size in because they didn't have my size. It turns out that I am a XXS, a two extra small, but it fits perfect. <laughs> and I love the color. Although I'm pretty jealous about that one. That's beautiful. <laughs> Fairly typical for Mrs. Kiwi Rider, double XS. Let's cut the crap. I'm gonna open this box. We're gonna have a look at this helmet. Maybe you can tell them what uh, uh, the model of the helmet is. The Neotech 2. Now a lot of people uh, we see are getting these helmets. A uh, particular shout out to Blacktop Devil and the She Devil. They've just got matching black helmets as well. Uh, and they seem to be enjoying theirs. Let's get this out of here. Yeah. Ooh, I caught a glimpse of the red. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Now, of course, we're not in natural light. We're just under yellow house lights, but uh, that is stunning. you can get a sense of the deep, the deep red that that is. Can you see that? That's a gorgeous helmet. Wow. wow. The first thing that I notice is how incredibly light it is compared to my other helmet. And I think we worked it out. It's on here, isn't it? The helmet alone is 1665 grams, so that's just over one and a half kil kilograms. Mine's slightly smaller, so slightly lighter. Wow. That's beautiful. Yep, so that is the wine red and gloss. This is 
is the matte blue Neotech 2. Yeah, my initial thought just beautiful helmets mm. and they're modular. Yep. That front lifts up, which is going to be great. So we don't have to rip our helmets off every time we want to talk clearly to one another. That was one of the prerequisites when <clears throat> Mr. Kiwi Rider went into the shop. He wanted a modular helmet, a good quality one. This, um, this probably goes to show what the sizings are like because generally my head is considered big but uh, I've got a size M, a medium size helmet and that fits me beautifully, just nice and snugly. There's enough room in there for it to, to wear in a little bit, the, the inside shrink a little bit. But yeah, size M for me, so if you're ordering online without seeing them, the sizings are smaller for the larger heads, if that makes sense, yeah. This has got so many, they've got so many cool features. Tell, uh, tell them a little bit about how you've found yours so far. Well, obviously we were, we were shown all the features in the shop, so we'll go over that with you shortly. But like, like you were just saying, it's so light. So mm. it's really easy to, to put on, especially with, with this front part opening. But wearing it, it's as quiet as a mouse. It's so quiet in there. You know, it reduces the road noise quite a bit. Um, and it's just so comfortable if you get the right size. Um, obviously, my, my older helmet, there was some given some room to wiggle room in it. And yeah, I was got sick of turning my head in the wind and the traffic and it would like move. Mm. So this was just a dream to just mm. have it nice and solid on my head. Um, I really, really like the feature which we had on our old helmets, but it's got it's got the uh, sun visor. But what's good about it is you can put it halfway down, you can put it a tiny bit down, or all the way up, or all the way down. You don't have to have it just down or up. And did you use the visor much on the weekend? I did, good, yeah. Good. It was really easy to use with my gloves on. Um, once I figured out exactly where it was on the helmet, it was real easy to find. I had no problems. Yeah, just a great, great helmet. I loved it. It felt really comfortable. It made the ride a lot more enjoyable just by having a really good helmet. Mm -hmm. Still more features. It has the pin lock, uh, anti-fog uh, system on the inside that comes as standard. So uh, when you put your helmet on, you put the visor down, you breathe, that visor doesn't instantly fog up. Okay, you get a little bit of fogging around the, just around the edges where that pinlock visor isn't. And along with that, I took it out for the first time on Saturday and we went out again on Sunday, a beautiful sunny day on Sunday. But Saturday, it was horrible weather. It was rainy and freezing cold and I didn't have any problems with visibility. It was fine, so. Awesome. Yeah. So one other thing I wanted to mention too is these inserts all come out and they're all uh, washable. So when it's summertime and you're sweating and it gets all a bit rank mm -hmm. in there, you, this all comes out and it's designed to come out so you can wash it and put it back in. So that's going to extend the life and comfort of your helmet as well. When it starts to smell like a teenager's bedroom, you know it's time to give it a wash. Easy to move ear vents as well. Yeah, I used that on the weekend. It was awesome. real easy with my gloves on. Nice. Didn't use the front one. But that's quite easy, just down or up. So with your gloves on, that would be fine. Another cool thing about these showy helmets, these uh, Neotech 2, that they're ready for a, a Senna uh, comms unit to, to fit into them. Now, we don't have them, we'll be just using our, our Senna uh, 20Ss uh, for now. But these spaces, there's space in the back to put a battery, there's space in the side, this part comes out and you can put their comms unit in there. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you would then put your microphone in the front part here. So that's another really cool feature. 
that it's uh, comms ready. One of the good features of this is the stainless steel locking mechanism. So it's really easy to put in and, and undo. That's locked in there and it's just one finger, pull down and it releases. Also the visor, uh, I'm not gonna take it off, but when we were in the store, a uh, salesperson took the visor off and was, was bending it all yeah. around as only a salesperson does. Yeah. But, so yeah, that just goes to show the quality that's gone into this. It's a fiberglass shell. When you come to put it on, you can, there's a bit of movement there so you can pull it up, down over your ears and you don't have to do that ear tucking thing like uh, you sometimes have to do. And also the ear wells in here are nice and big. Uh, even when you've got your um, communication speakers in there. For the money and the features, I get a sense these are gonna be um, you know, fantastic helmets for us. And I love this one because it's red and it goes with my bike. <laughs> I'm just wondering if we should try them on. Yeah. Should we? Let's do it. Plastic. All right, let's do this. Really secure and uh, and comfortable. You can hardly move that. It's like there's very little room to move. Incredibly light compared to uh, compared to our other helmets. No fog. 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 <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks for being here, dudes. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, consider giving us a subscribe. And work out how to get out of this thing there. Oh, there yeah. we go. As well as uh, being a good looking light helmet, it's, it's gonna perform well. Uh, it's a fiberglass, fi uh, 